is terrible. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying out the Ardell Magnetic Accents. I have seen these floating around YouTube. If you're in any way somebody that watches a lot of YouTube, you will have seen them. I haven't bought them because I've never seen them in Ireland and I was just a little bit wary of buying them on the internet. I was afraid that if I bought ones from AliExpress or Wish that they might chop off my eyelashes. I know it's silly, but when I saw the Ardell ones, I was like, right, I trust Ardell. I buy them regularly. I'm going to buy them. So I bought these. I got my receipt here from Salon Services. They were $7.99, I'm not 100% sure if that's $7.99 because I do have a professional discount or whether that's the price they are anyway, but that's how much I bought them for. So I'm gonna open these up and we'll try them out. Okay, so the way these work, I think, is that you've got a top lash and a bottom lash. So I think one goes on top, yeah, it says upper and under. So, yeah, let's try them out. I'm gonna get it a little bit closer for you guys. Okay, so that's them opened, and I'm gonna take them out of the packet so they're gently kind of glued to the white packaging. I don't know if I should be using, oh, and now I've dropped one. It's back. <laughs> These are scary. They actually are frightening me. Okay, so this, one, I've lost it again, have I? Oh Jesus, where have I dropped it? Oh no, here. I feel like, I'm somebody that would come in after a night on the town, take these off, lose them, and be like, oh my God, where am I? And then my dog, I don't know if anyone else's dog does this, he actually will eat fake eyelashes if he finds them on the ground because he thinks they're spiders and he likes to regularly eat spiders. So yeah. Oh, look at this, okay. Okay, so they've got three little magnets along. One here here, here, here. So one either end and one in the center, okay? Let's try this out. I'm just gonna sit this on top of my eyelashes, like that. Oh, they don't look very nice, do they? Maybe when the bottom one is on. So I'm gonna try and get them in as close to my root as possible and just kind of sit them there. I'm hoping that when I bring the bottom one on that they just kind of snap themselves together, so. Oh my God. This is terrible. Okay, so I've got them snapped on there, but like there's a big gap. Okay, that one is much better. Okay, oh, that looks much better now. So you can actually wiggle them in closer to the root. They do feel heavier than regular lashes, I will say that. They do, and I wear heavy eyelashes, but they do feel heavier. Okay, I feel really confident now. I feel like this is gonna be really good now, this second one. Watch and I'll mess it up completely. Let's try a different method. So that did not work. So what I was trying to do with that method was I was trying to hold each one and get them to snap together. But I think my original method of resting them on your top eyelashes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I feel like this is something Lady Gaga would wear, like as a veil that she looks through. The problem is I'm not getting them close enough to my root. Can you see there's a gap there? I feel like I'm snapping this end too quickly with the magnet and it's lifting up the other side so I might try to get this end in first. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, so that end actually is the exact same. I didn't realise that I did have the gap there. Oh my god, look how far away they are from my regular root of my eyelashes. These are really fiddly. Why did I get that one on so easily? Cannot see what I'm doing. Oh Jesus, and I've lipstick on my hand. <gasps> oh, where's it gone? Okay, I think I've got them on. So my conclusion with magnetic eyelashes is they are much more fiddly than regular, regular eyelashes. If you're allergic to eyelash glue, you know, they might be a solution for you. You need a very steady hand with them. So I would not recommend them for a total beginner. Um, it's very easy to drop one and they're difficult enough to find. Um, there is latex free eyelash glue. Duo glue do do a version of their glue that is latex free. So if you are somebody that's allergic to eyelash glue, 
maybe look out for that one. I bought mine in Inglot and it's the one in the green tube. So, I mean, that's the solution that I would recommend if you are allergic to latex, obviously patch test, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, my battery is literally just about to run out. So if you found this video helpful or you just like me doing a little bit more kind of silly trying out makeup products, let me know below. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I know my husband is just going to take the make out of me for the way I said goodbye there. Goodbye. <laughs>